Okay, friends. So we are going to continue to work on learning how to use code to solve problems and create projects on the computer. Now, we started working on this a little bit last year. And if you don't remember, that is totally OK, because I'm going to walk you through parts of it. OK, so when you get your computers back, you are going to click on Angel. You are going to, this is going to load up right on yours. You're going to find your teacher's beautiful face. Whose class is this? Gail. Okay, and then I'm going to be, I'm going to be Richard today, Richard Soto. So I find my name, I click on my name, and this box pops up right here. That is where those cards that I just gave you came in. At the very bottom of those cards, it says secret words. You need to type in both words with a space in between them. That's your password for Hour of Code. Richard, what is yours? Should pretty. Should pretty. OK, you press the orange sign in button, and a window is going to pop up. They want to know how old you are. They want to know how old their coders are. So you click on the box, you find your age, you click on it, and you press the Continue button. Okay, now this is your online course. So you are taking an online class right now just like you would in college. Okay, it's self-paced. You get to go where you need to go. You can skip around if you want to. You can go back and watch the unplugged videos. If you need a more concrete idea, that's fine. But I'm going to suggest starting out at stage two today, you click on the number one. And it is zombie verse flowers. So dear person, me zombie must get to sunflower. It's going to start off easy and it's going to progressively get harder and harder. OK, so if there's a time that you get stuck, feel free to get up and walk around the room. Check out how other people are solving their puzzles. Ask a neighbor if they can help talk you through it. OK, but this one's really straightforward. I just need to move forward one, two, three, three times. One, two, three. And I press run. And he goes. Now, later on, it gets a little, little bit more difficult because this pink block of code is called a conditional. OK? So whatever I put inside this space, it is going to continue to do it until my zombie gets to the flower. So what I want him to do is I want him to turn right, move forward, turn left. Whoops. And they have to connect. Move forward. OK, so run program. And he is going to go all the way. OK. Then you're also going to have these test questions. OK, this is going to help assess how well you understand the code that you're working on. OK, boys and girls, you have an opportunity to win one of those awesome t-shirts hanging out in the back. I have 24 of them. 24 kids are going to get a t-shirt that says, I survived the hour of code. But the way to get those t-shirts is to pass the most stages. So you need to solve these puzzles correctly. That's how you get credit for them if you want to win a t-shirt. So I need to answer this test question correctly. Which one of these codes would be what he needs to do? One, two, three. OK, well, that knocks out these last two because he needs to move forward three times. And that says four, and that says five. Then he needs to turn left. You're right. It's B because this one says turn right. Click on the answer, press submit. Oh, whoops. My bad. A, because he turns right. OK, there are going to be times when these videos pop up. You want to watch the entire video for two reasons. Number one, it's going to introduce you to the next 
concept. And number two, it's going to teach you tricks on how to pass the new version of puzzles. When you're done watching the entire video, just click on the X and it's going to take you into the puzzle. And here we start drawing things using code. So click OK. And this one is going to be a trial and error because you don't know how many blocks you need at first. So I'm just going to do one block at a time. Move forward 100 pixels. That wasn't far enough, so I need to change my number here. Let's try 300. Okay, so that was enough, and now I need to turn right, move forward 300, turn right, move forward, whoops, need to connect them, by 300, turn right, move forward by 300, okay? Okay, so those are the puzzles that you're going to be working on today. Remember, if you get stuck, look around the room, ask a neighbor, go back and do an easier puzzle over again if you need to.